Well, I think, it, you know, it, everybody's been stepping up to the plate. Everybody has been, you know, we've, you look at Dubuque and it has a huge festival market and it has a lot of live entertainment and you look what see what uh, Diamond Joe and the Mystique have done as far as bringing in the bigger name entertainment and now you're starting to see the heritage and us as far as the five flags and um, you know and the grand also booking a larger act because you have to keep up with the Joneses but I think it really comes down to Dubuquers um, having being a little more savvy with their money and they're willing to spend the money on the quality entertainment if it comes to Dubuque uh, I come from the standpoint of uh, bringing the entertainment in uh, for the families because we're an all-age building and being able to, um, you know, being able to bring in those promoters that used to be here in Dubuque uh, 20, 25 years ago and now, uh, you know, letting them know that, you know, Dubuque is a ripe market as far as destination, on your way to somewhere else to play, it, the location's great, and to give us another shot again. And they're stepping up to the plate and they're coming to Dubuque. Well, I think it really has to do with the success of Dubuque itself. Uh, we've gotten over the stigma of being a quiet community to being a progressive community. Uh, people enjoy their live music and there's so many venues out there uh, that people are, are getting out but they, and they have the money to do it but they're, like I said they're very particular about what they spend their money on uh, and the, you know, the, maybe the tired retro um, tribute bands aren't doing it anymore and they want to see more of, of the larger acts and those of us who may have put our foot in the water, put our toe in the water to test it out, it's paid off uh, on many different genres, whether it be Christian or rock or country, uh, classic country. You've seen it all here in Dubuque in a town of 65,000 people. This, this is a unique time and a great time to live here because you don't see this in the country. You don't see this in towns this size. And it's fun. It's fun for me to be a, a venue manager and, and you know, competing with these other venues, but I'm not really competing, but uh, you know, we communicate. We tell each other what we're booking, and we're making it making Dubuque just a little bit better as far as the entertainment's concerned. Uh, people in Dubuque know, uh, you know, if you know, they may like country, they may like rock, they may like polka, they may like you know Christian, and if you give them the quality entertainment, they're going to purchase the ticket. Uh, you know, the days of the $10 ticket or the $15 ticket may be a thing of the past because now they want these larger names, and these larger names are costing money, but we're finding that they are willing to pay for the quality, and that's and that's a plus. That's a big tribute to the, yeah. a big uh, you know hats off to the community for that. Yeah. I don't think we've hit a ceiling yet. I see you know what you're seeing with the uh, the festivals that are taking place downtown and at the Mystique. Uh, what we're bringing in as far as the Chase Rice and the Casting Crowns, and they want more. Uh, will there be a cap? Absolutely. I mean, a town of this size can only handle so much, but. Also, you have to remember, we're drawing from other areas of the Midwest, from Madison, from Chicago, from Des Moines, from Cedar Rapids, to Council Bluffs. Uh, you know, will there be a time? Yes. Will we be able to get the Florida Georgia lines in Dubuque? Probably not, because, you know, those acts are very expensive, and we don't have the capacity, seating capacity for that. But as long as the other venues and us continue to push the envelope, I think you're going to see bigger acts come to town.